Sorry, great news! A gaggle of people read the flyer and started asking me questions. This is a great opportunity to recruit for our cause. Now, these people are mostly ignorant cattle, so we'll be more likely to get through to them if they hear from one of their own. I want you to relax and speak straight from the heart. Oh, one more thing. I wrote a speech for you. Make sure you read it word for word, okay? Good luck. Uh, ah, so. What do they call Monterey chicken in Monterey? Do they just call that chicken or what? Huh? <laughs> Fuck you! You suck! Not funny! Until I began shaving women's armpits in their sleep. My life was as yours is now an endless parade of anonymous hand jobs at CD truck stops and highway rest areas. Hey, you have no right to judge us, asshole! This is some bullshit, man. All right, look, I'm a schmuck, I admit it. I may not know a lot about public speaking or even hygiene, but I've spent enough time stimulating my colon to know one thing. Monkeys don't deserve to be tortured to death for any reason, much less for limited and unreliable medical research. What? Research? What's going on? Wait a minute. Since the dawn of Hollywood, monkeys have bent over backwards to make life more bearable for us humans. They've held jobs as pilots and as fashion executives. Did you know that chimpanzees were the first mammals to have the balls to go up into space, huh? Sure, they failed to find their home planet, but so what? They paved the way for our astronauts, that's what mattered. I hate the man, but he's right! Now sit tight, little lambs, because I'm gonna tell you a little story. It's a story about a kindly orangutan, a sweet, lovable beast with a bad case of Tourette's syndrome and a panty-sniffing owner who takes him for granted. When he makes his escape in a five-star brothel on the eve of the social event of the season, sure, bestiality ensues. I'm not gonna lie for him. He was a pain in the ass at times. But when the 10-year-old son of the hotel manager needed advice and encouragement to face his own sexual identity crisis, he was there. Dunstan may have checked in that day. He may have raided mini bars for which other people were responsible, and he may have left an ungodly mess in the shower. But he didn't check out. You were doing great before! Keep reading from the cards! Shut up, bitch! Yeah! What about Clyde, the redneck orangutan, huh? When Clint Eastwood needed him, did Clyde turn his back on his human pal? Heck, I know any of you would have. But Clyde stuck it out. Not since Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox have a man and his animal kick so much ass in a barroom brawl like Clyde and Clint. All right, hell, be honest, okay? How many of you wouldn't trade in your best friend for an orangutan if you could? I ask you, good citizens, can you ignore Clyde's call for vengeance from beyond the grave? People, I say this to you. Get some hair on your nads and let's burn this mother down right now! Damn right, that boy's telling the truth. Okay, honesty time. Who here enjoys orangutan porn as much as I do? Huh? Julius, I, I know you do. Uh, what about the rest of you? Come on, you're, you're not a pervert if you have, really. Yeah, j j just for fun? Uh, Russell. Well, it's pretty damn cool. Boom, you suck! Oh, get on the stage boo to already! You, sir! Oh, I man, say boo to you! Boo!